Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. So the Commonwealth has reportedly told Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa to implement a raft of reforms for the Southern African country to be readmitted back into the league. Mnangagwa, who attended the coronation of King Charles III in Britain over the weekend, waived his re-engagement and as he engaged Commonwealth Secretary General Patricia Scotland. Zimbabwe's bid to rejoin the Commonwealth is part of the Munangako administration's drive to re-engage with the international community after about two decades of isolation. Zimbabwe, under the then leader Robert Mugabe, left Commonwealth in 2003 at the height of the land reform program, which was characterized by violence against white commercial farmers. Commonwealth has, however, demanded that Zimbabwe should implement political reforms to be readmitted back into the group of 56 mainly former British colonies. On the sidelines of the coronation, Munangagwa, whose invitation stayed controversy, met with the Commonwealth Secretary General Mrs. Patricia Scotland in what was a key engagement in Zimbabwe's plans to re enjoin the bloc. The Commonwealth has previously insisted that readmission into the group hinges on Zimbabwe fulfilling several rigorous steps to ensure adherence to principles such as peace and democracy. And after Sunday's meeting, Scotland said they had discussed Zimbabwe's application to rejoin the Commonwealth and reaffirmed the need for the country to commit to the bloc's values. The Commonwealth values, which include the promotion of democracy, human rights, good governance, the rule of law, individual liberty, digitalism, free trade, multilateralism, and world peace emerged in independence movement and the struggles for self-governance. Scotland said, Please to welcome the President of Zimbabwe, Amazon Nangagwa, to Marlborough House for a courtesy call. The President and I discussed a range of issues, including Zimbabwe's ongoing application to rejoin Commonwealth and reaffirmed the commitment to the values of the Commonwealth. Zimbabwe is also scheduled to hold a general election between July and August, but main opposition figures say they are already battling intense government repression similar to that during Mugabe's length iron fisted rule. Since his ascension to power through a military assisted takeover in 2017 that toppled Mugabe, Nangagwa has sought to rebuild broken relations with the West and Britain. Last year, Commonwealth dispatched an envoy led by Louis Francisco to assess progress made by Zimbabwe to be readmitted back. However, presidential spokesperson George Charamba, using the pseudonym Tinoe Dasuno on Twitter, claimed Mnangagwa's meeting with Scot Scotland was a significant step for Zimbabwe's readmission into the Commonwealth. His Excellency, the President, Dr. E. D. Mnangagwa has just met Baroness Scotland, the Secretary General of the uh, Commonwealth. The meeting reviewed progress Zimbabwe has made along the road to her real admission. Uh, Zanu PF supporters and so is its members were happy that the President was invited to UK for the coronation of King Charles. But however, some analysts say that this is just a ploy by the UK so that when the elections come, they are also expecting to be invited as observers it is just one of a uh, school of thought that also needs to be considered very seriously honorable